Here we go with the next lesson. A quilt block is simply a sandwich. You have a back, which is bread. You have meat, which is the middle. It's actually your batting. I use flannel. Um, I think I talked about that. Batting is so expensive and I hate working with it. So here we go with our sandwich. We've got our back. We've got our meat, our batting. For your quilt, we have the top. But, oh wait, it's really small. Well, yeah, we want it that way. Your back needs to be bigger than the other two pieces. And yeah, there's some waste because we do a lot of trimming, but uh, it's not uh, cost damaging. <laughs> you know, because um, even with something like these 10 by 10 squares, they're kind of wonky. Everything I cut wonky, everything's cut wonky, it's cut by people. So we just do the best we can and um, I'm wanting this to come out as a 12 inch block. So by the time we get everything trimmed, hopefully that's where we'll be. So what you're going to do, and this is, a lot of this is going to be homework because I'm going to give you the basics when you get here and then send you home with homework. Um, I have cut four uh, strips. I have two tens. This block is 10 by 10. So we have a 10 inch here that you will sew on, okay? And we have a 10 inch here that you will sew on quarter inch seam right down there with that walking foot. You're going to see how all that works. And then when you fold this out and we press it, see it goes and covers the edge. And then because these are, are on here already, then we need a 13 inch to go all the way across and when you get those sewed down this block will be finished yay